today we're gonna talk a little bit about the project, what it is and the purpose of it. So let's dive in. So this car is gonna be something like a time attack vehicle, circuit racer, uh, how else you can call it? Well, generally a track day car for pure enjoyment, nothing else. The car is gonna be based around Opel Tigra. Uh, in England they call it uh, Vauxhall Tigra. It will be a silhouette body, so the whole body will be composite, glass fiber or carbon fiber, probably a combination of both. And uh, the main chassis is going to be, as you can see here, uh, tubed space frame chassis. This is the current state of the project. This is what I have uh, made so far. So uh, the, the main cage, the main cage is pretty standard FIA based. The diameter of the tubes and the type of the of the tubes used, so nothing special special there. Few extra uh, brackets to make things more stiff. And uh, yeah, I got this on this uh, wheels to be easier to manage it around the garage if I need to move it. Uh, we'll see in the future, maybe we will make something more solid, I don't know yet. Uh, about the layout. Layout is pretty interesting. The car is going to have an Opel based 2-liter uh, turbo engine with uh, all-wheel drive. Uh, engine is gonna sit longitudinally here. And we're gonna then have front differential in front of the engine and the back differential in the rear. The gearbox is here, as you can see it here. This is all for mock-up mounted. The, the engine I'm going to use... Uh, first, I wanted to use... I already have it actually here behind the camera is a famous C20 LET engine uh, from Calibra Turbo 4x4. Uh, I managed to actually source a newer type Opel engine. I think it is A20 NFT. It is also 2 little turbo, 2 liter turbo, uh, aluminum, aluminum block. It has a variable intake and exhaust cam. It has a direct, uh, direct injection. Uh, I think it's from uh, Opel Astra J OPC model, and in stock it's around 260 horsepower, something like that. So that's what I plan to use now, and uh, yeah, the old engine will be probably sold. Uh, yeah, about the drivetrain. Okay. The drivetrain will be VW based. Yeah, that's that's something interesting. Uh, what you see here is uh, actually VW uh, gearbox. This is from a uh, from a Golf 520 uh, TDI engine. This uh, the code of the gearbox is uh, 02Q. So, a little bit better casting than 02M, that is a very famous uh, gearbox in uh, VW area. And actually this is a front wheel drive gearbox and I mounted it longitudinally. So the, the differential output shaft will actually be connected to a smaller front drive shaft and a longer rear drive shaft this is going to run to the front and rear differential the differentials that I use are uh, from also for uh, from uh, VW Haldex units uh, generation uh, two, 2 I think from uh, Volkswagen Golf 4 or uh, yeah 4 
uh, for motion. Yeah, so that, that's interesting, but uh, these are also going to be modified. I don't plan actually to use the, the Haldex uh, itself. All the clutches in there, I'm, go I'm going to remove that complete part and I'm going to, to use here inside actually a differential that's going to act like a center differential. Uh, so that's, that's the global plan. Uh, this here, what you can see, aluminum plate, this is actually uh, serves as a gearbox and engine adapter plate, but also a gearbox and engine mount. As you can see here, it's connected to the main chassis. So yeah, the seat is here just for uh, mock-up. Uh, yeah. So, you probably notice I'm missing the complete front chassis and real real part. That's because that's uh, because I didn't yet uh, made the suspension picking points in 3D CAD. So this is the most important thing to to define before building anything because uh, suspension you start from suspension actually you start from the tires but yeah you got the point uh, I will have some help on that uh, I do not have enough experience to define all the connection points by myself uh, I have a guy helping me out with that and after we de defined the the connection points of the wishbones and on the suspension components uh, I'm going to start to build the front end and the rear end it's going to be all connected to this main main center chassis that you see here okay let's talk a little bit about uh, suspension uh, it will be double wishbone push rod actuated front and rear so the same as an uh, F1, LMP1 cars, uh, Formula student and many other race cars uh, also DTM for example. Okay, the, the final look, the final look of the car. Um, so what I have in my mind is uh, something combination of let's say DTM and current World Time Attack cars, so you can say crazy aero. It will be definitely advanced uh, aero on this vehicle. Uh, really low to the ground, of course. Center of gravity very important. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, a composite outer shell or body, main space uh, frame tube chassis. So that's that's the idea. Uh, all all the windows are gonna be uh, Lexan or Perspex. I don't know the which which ones I chose. I think they are only three names. And uh, target. So target weight. Well, I guess around 950 kilos without the driver. But we'll see where we end. How <laughs> about well, with that? And uh, regarding the engine power, yes, engine power. Most of you will probably be asking that question. I don't know. I don't know. The plan is to over engineer or overbuild the engine. So let's say build it for 1000 horsepower. And what they're going to be running at will be dependent on the size of the turbo or amount of the pressure you, you put into the engine. So we'll see about that, but uh, some higher horsepower number. I don't have any number in my mind right now, but the plan is to build the engine to so it can withstand 1000 horsepower, even though probably I will never run at that uh, high level. So this is the engine block. As you can see, it's aluminum 
from the engine I was mentioning earlier. Uh, this will, well, you know what, I'm going to talk about the engine on other video, <laughs> not now. I have already bought these Aldis differentials, they are the same, same generation. This part is where all the clutches are, clutch discs inside. This will be probably completely removed and custom pieces made. Uh, yes, this is Nissan 350Z main drive shift that I'm probably not going to use. I will need something custom made carbon fiber. Let's see chassis a little bit. This is the adapter plate or engine mount plate. We have here main cross tubes, some braces I made. Also up here more braces, internal radius. And in the back the main the main cross also more bracing. Also on the top, so the main tubes. So about the about the the chassis itself. These are 50 by 2 millimeter tubes. Only the the base the base ones. Uh, the main the main square. Let's call it like that. This arch, the main arch, is 45 by 2.5 millimeters. Rear square is 40 by 2. These arches, front ones, 42, 40 by 2. The cross beams, 40 by 2. This is also 40 by 2. These ones are, are uh, I think, 25 by 2 millimeters. This is, I think, 2 millimeter or actually 1.5 millimeter uh, steel, sheet, sheet metal steel. So that's the main chassis, what I have done so far. Oh yeah, the bottom, the bottom cross is also 40 by 2 millimeters. Seamless cold drone uh, tubes. Uh, it's ST52 uh, in, by one standard, the name. But it is, uh, it exceeds the FIA specs. This is it for now. I will put some pictures in the end of the video of the build. Thanks for watching and see you. Bye.